Yo, yo, yo. Welcome to Keep on Tolkien. Welcome today, back. Yeah, welcome back. Today we're really excited. We have uh, some friends with us today. The guys from Gamer Radio, our sister podcast, we, we talked about before, if you've listened. Um, today we've got Trevor Dunlap, we've got Cody Freitag, and we've got Dominic Rowland. Welcome, guys. We're going to be talking about some cool Tolkien video games today. So This is the much built-up crossover episode yeah. we've been talking the about. The day has come. The crossover. The crossover. This is it, guys. This is it. This is both of this is both podcasts together. This is originally what this started as. Yeah, and then it, it fractured. It sundered. It's, it's true. Yeah, it was all of us. I don't know. Well, kind of, kind of. Yeah. It was. Yeah. No. It we was. We tried. We definitely. Yeah. We tried. We tried. We gave tried. it the old college dropout try, and, and it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> is uh, is Rage Radio even? Is it? Is it online? Can people still listen to the first one? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's still on SoundCloud, but that's it. Well, I mean, our just first episode or whatever, like you still those have first couple, were pretty sweet. I had a lot of fun. <laughs> Do you we still did have one. the episode where we, <laughs> we did one? Yeah, we, okay, we, yeah, we put out one. Hold on, tell me that was the one with the moon falling to the earth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, my yeah. god. We just, uh, that one where we were just too drunk. Uh, yeah. It was just too drunk. It was good, we tried. We, we, we went that, hard that come in, out later. in another way, really. Bonus track later on. Yeah, bonus track. It'll come the out. drunk episode that never got released. <laughs> drunk episode. <laughs> Well, it was it was funny because we kept drinking because we couldn't figure out how to get the audio equipment working. <laughs> so we were like, it's Cody was just like, keep your buzz going, guys. And then we were just like way too drunk by the time we, we started. By the time everything got... Dude, by we, the time we started. Yeah, we, we killed, killed that We shit. killed a handle of Evan Williams before we started. Yeah. Hold on. Did we have Coke too, though, right? We had some, but not I enough. Right, <laughs> we, the Coke was gone before the booze was. Yeah. I whiskey just think and Coke, just to clarify. Whiskey and Coke. Whiskey and Coke. I yes. distinctly remember some whiskey and orange Coca-Cola. juice happening, and uh, that was a bad idea. It was fun, but today we're talking about Tolkien and video games, and specifically, you know. Tolkien video games. Yeah, the good shit. The old and the new, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you guys were playing uh what is it, the tw- the Twin Towers on PS2? The two towers. <laughs> the two <laughs> Sorry, wow. the two towers. Too Dude, soon, I do bro. that. I do that Too every soon. time. Too soon. <laughs> I do that every time and you know it. Um we were I'm playing go fly a freaking uh 7-Eleven. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, no, no. You got to fly dragons into uh Ooh, what thing the, ro- thing the Lonely room. Mountain. Yeah, I don't I suppose you could. What? I was thinking like Siren's Fortress. Oh, into oh. into Baradur. Baradur, yeah, that's okay. Baradur. That's what I did. I didn't want to say it because I didn't want to be wrong. But <laughs> yeah, when it's they fine. Were, fly a dragon can, into Baradur. You yeah. can be wrong. We will correct you. That's Just in generally, case. when they reference the two towers, they're talking about Baradur and and Orthanc, mm. right? Oh, Orthanc, Bar- Baradur. Yeah. Okay. Baradur. Baradur. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah well, anyway, we were playing Return of the King because that one's co-op. Oh, was, oh, okay. Yeah. Because yeah. okay. the two EA games that came out the 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 two towers. Um, that one. So. That one actually, the Two Towers is actually both the Fellowship of the Ring movie and the Two Towers movie. Well, did they mix them both under one. Yeah, because well, because there was a Fellowship of the Ring video game, which I w- I would like to take a second to talk about is the Fellowship <laughs> of the Ring video game. <laughs> um, it, w- it wasn't received well. Just so it was not know. received well. Was but it, here's the thing: was it trash? It was a very <laughs> shitty game. It was a very <laughs> so it was it was it was it was garbage. a very shitty game. But there were cool things about it, like it was open world. For the most part, like you could actually wander around the Shire and do like side quests and stuff like that. But literally, dude, I never got out of the Shire because when you got caught with the ring, the game was over. You had to start over again. And like you to get to that point, had to go to like Bywater, which is across the river, and fucking like sell the deed to uh, Bag End to like Lobelia Sackville Baggins. Hold and, like, on. This is, these are all things that happen in the book. I played the game briefly as a child. Yeah, and I realized it as he was telling me about it, and it it's it, it wasn't that much fun from what I remember. No, it's terrible. <laughs> I mean, I didn't. I don't <laughs> even remember that bad. it existed. So it was kind of cool that you got to wander around the Shire and talk to like other hobbits and stuff. But, but other than that, it was that's trash. the bulk of the game. Yeah, that's the bulk of the game. Well, hold on. How, how this is old though, right? I mean, this is from on I'm the just, PlayStation Two. I'm just trying to imagine open worlds on PS Two. It's not. I mean, it's, it's not, not like, like old, true. It's not like yeah, Atari I know, I know. old. Right. I know. <laughs> Oh, there was By our standards, oh, that Jesus. wouldn't even be open world. That's just like a level. Right. This is this is linear level A. Yeah. Let's go to linear level B, guys. Yeah. It was kind of cool in that respect, but other than that, it was trash. I never got past the Shire because every time you got caught. Okay, but over. the but the two towers was totally different. 
Yeah, that was made by EA. As far that came as the, out, uh, yeah, that was the movies. Well, as far as the fellowship parts of the game, though. <clears throat> right, well, the fellowship parts of the game are, yeah, based on the movie. It so, wasn't that much, though. It was brief. Yeah, there was like you—you you did some Moria. It pretty much starts you off in Moria, doesn't right, it? Right. Yeah. So we this conversation started off. You said you wanted to talk about the Two Towers game because, or no, I'm sorry, you wanted to touch on the, the fellowship. fellowship game. Yeah. But the Two Towers does a recap at the beginning of the yeah, Fellowship because fellowship. it was picked up by a different company. Yeah, yeah, by EA. Yeah. yeah, and I mean, I think the coolest part was watching actual footage from the movies. While playing the game, yeah, that was really cool. Like it was cool. Like it just tied it all together. It was yeah. right around the hype, hype years, and yeah, it was and just badass. I played the shit out of the two towers. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. oh yeah, the two towers. You remember the? Uh, you just playing on PlayStation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was playing. So when I played it, I just, I don't remember all of it. I just remember defending Helm's Deep for like an hour. Do you uh, do you remember sh- the cheat code for health? Yes, and for arrows. Triangle down, X up, bro. <laughs> what was arrows? I don't remember arrows. You can refill your arrows. I didn't know it. I never or had have that. Infinite cheat code. arrows as well. What the fuck? Every what? PlayStation Two. Your you mind is blown. Codes, dude. Oh, I could have made it so much easier to play that game. Yep, yep. I was just legless, and I would just, or even Gimli, just throwing the axes. You just keep throwing axes. Yeah, just yeah. nonstop, dude. It was awesome. Yeah. Uh, how fast do you level up when doing that? Oh, you don't really level up. Do you just get? You just. I, honestly, I, I can't say that. I don't remember, so I haven't played. You it you have to like uh you have to like get uh hit streaks. Yeah, don't you have to like to finesse, to yeah. finesse your way points. to get more experience? Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. You have to get like excellent kills versus fair kills. Right, it's all about kills. combos. Well, and there's yeah. a pretty huge difference between mm-hmm. the amount of points you get between those. I yeah, noticed. yeah, yeah. You get crazy amounts for uh, for the higher kills. It can't be that hard to just chain that together, though. I mean, you could level up so fast. No, I played a, an entire level perfect one time back in the day. Oh, look at me. I played an entire level fucking perfect one time. Well, I... Hey... Be nice. I'm just yeah. bitter because we tried to play the game the other day and I was really bad. Yeah, I was about yeah, to say you were bad at the game. That. Yeah, so was Wait, pretty you bad have it there. right now, dude. We were playing. Yeah, it's so we were playing. Right there. Well, we were what? playing. We were playing Return of the King, so we could do the co-op. Why didn't you state this like two hours ago? Um, we could have been playing it. Oh <laughs> yeah, I suppose we could have played it. <laughs> Sorry. Wow. Wow. Joel. Oh Jesus. Wow. Anyway, yeah, the Return of the King is fun. Yes, I I didn't play that as much as Two Towers. That was just because. Other games were coming out for PS2 at the time, so mm-hmm. had to play it. But it was a fun game. Now what? Now what? Let's talk about. So did you guys? Oh, you know what? I the ones that are really fun, and I don't know if this is just they're always fun. Is the Lego Lord of the Rings games? <laughs> oh so I played tons of Lego games, but not like I played all the Batman as the superhero ones, but I haven't played the Lord of the Rings one. Dude, it's so fantastic. I have I have both the Lord of the Rings. Lego and mm-hmm. the Hobbit Lego. Yeah, we played them. Yeah, well, us three, I'm pretty sure, destroyed the uh, Lord of the right, Rings. Right, that's one. how I yeah, know yeah. it at all. Yeah. yeah, that was fun because you got you've got like a a complete mini map of Lego Middle Earth, Middle Earth. of Lego, Lego Middle, Middle Earth. Earth that you could walk around. It'd show you like the zoomed out map, and then in real life size, it was still actually pretty small. Like you could just walk across. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was, I don't know. It was, it was funny though. I fucking love Lego games. <laughs> they're fucking fun, man. Cause you I started with the Lego star Wars games and those were yeah. just, yeah. Well, they're, they're oh. just like silly as all hell. Yeah. They yeah make, that's they, why they're fun. They're just silly. They make the mm-hmm. environment fun and silly mm-hmm. and ridiculous. When well, they put collectibles in there too. And so then like you collect that stuff and you get all the different characters. Yeah, there's a shitload of achievements on Xbox for the like Marvel. I have uh the Marvel one. Dude, they're coming out with a number 2 for that just so you know. Oh, really? Yeah. Sweet. Marvel? Yeah, a Lego Marvel. The uh the Lego Lord of the Rings games actually were the first Lego games of, you know, the Lego games that they're making where they actually incorporated at dialogue from the movies. Oh, oh yeah, before, dude, they did that, a ton. Yeah. I just I just love some of the Lego games, especially when it comes to the Lord of the Rings. There, it's a game based on a movie where the movie was based on a book. Like, it's <laughs> just so freaking ridiculous mm-hmm. if you think about it. <laughs> yeah, Tolkien has come a long way into many adaptations. That's a that's how stories it's are told, Lego, though, right? Lego I mean, game adaptation. It doesn't matter yeah. the medium per se. <laughs> I wonder if uh, if old Professor John uh, ever figured that his work would be translated into a game made of. Uh, children's toys. Yeah, not just children's <laughs> toys. Acting out a movie but based a on his virtual book. video game <laughs> about toys. Yeah, acting out the story. No, the toys. Guys, I I want I want uh Tolkien universe. Oh, yeah. in VR. Oh, my you God. and me both. Buddy. I want something a in Tolkien VR. RPG that would be super in awesome. 
in VR would be amazing. You would never leave the house. I would yeah. never fucking leave the house. Because you'd always be gone. You Dude, would live there. I don't you would just live there. Just live there. I don't want a token hmm. RPG. You know what I want? I just I just want a world simulator. Like where you can just walk through like they just model out oh, huge you can fast just areas. Tour it. Yeah. And you can just walk through uh, and tour sweet, Middle man. Earth. Like walk down the streets of Megas Tour. Awesome. Walk, yeah, walk down the streets of Megas Tour. Read a book. Go, go, in, go into Bag End and like pick up stuff and look at the, the, the story he yeah. was writing and everything. Or that Bibbo was writing. Did you just call Dude, him that'd a Bimbo? That'd be super cool. Go to the <laughs> Bibbo's writing. No. Bimbo? That, that old Bimbo's Bimbo. Bimbo's writing. Dude, going through uh, the Mines of Moria. Would be super cool. That'd be like, terrifying. They, just, Bibbo they should just put a Balrog in there so you can just yeah, stare just look at, at it. The, yeah. This like, Balrog awesome. is fucking huge. <laughs> that old Bimbo. <laughs> Bimbo Baggins. <laughs> that old Bimbo Baggins. It's a killer name, dude. <laughs> like, what if somebody Bimbo. actually was named that? Bimbo Baggins. Yeah, I mean, do we ever know anything about? Uh, did Bilbo ever take a woman no. ever? No. no? So that's probably one of his secret girlfriends, right? He killed Bimbo. Oh. <laughs> Bimbo, Bimbo Baggins. Bimbo Baggins. His Bimbo Baggins. Bilbo and his that was his younger sister. Disappeared. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I know. Bilbo was forever alone. Except for Frodo. You know, they kept each other company. Frodo never took wife for either. Several yeah, years. Was, you could say the ring was one of his most intimate relationships. <laughs> yeah. With definitely. an inanimate object. It was now, hold on, the enough. ring resized itself, it right? Yeah, the, the, yeah, the ring itself. does resize. Yep. Man, I bet you he fucked mm. the shit out of that hey. ring. Hey, there are. This is a family Whoa. podcast. This yes. is. <laughs> Whoa. I don't know how you guys run it over at Gamer Radio. <laughs> well, you can cut that out. You can cut. <laughs> <laughs> I just over here at Keep on. Talking. But over here, I keep on talking. This is a family show. Oh well. This is a fucking a family, family show. show over here. Can I give a shout out to uh, Beaverton? Yeah, yeah. You guys want to say that anything hey. to? The people hey, Beaverton? Beaverton. What up, Beaverton? Beaverton. Wait, I hope wh- who are they? I hope one Beaverton, day Oregon is. Uh, are we have some listeners out there? Yeah, oh. they they were uh, one of our highest uh, listens to s- from cities. Yeah, Beaverton, we had, Oregon. Had you, yeah, I'm sorry. What? <laughs> <laughs> we had uh, the most listens from Beaverton, Oregon, at one point in time, more so than any other city more in the country. More, more so than St. Paul and Minneapolis, where, where we live. Mm-hmm. Beaverton, Oregon. Well, it's, it's in, in Oregon. It's in Oregon. It's in well, West. obviously, I know it's Oregon. Oregon. It's in Somewhere. Western Oregon, right? It's the headquarters of. Uh, it's a safe thing to say. <laughs> the headquarters of uh, Nike is there. Yes. Yep. Oh. And they basically brought curling to the forefront of a yeah, uh, which is ice curling sport. Yeah, this is the coolest ice sport. I think it's cooler than hockey. Ooh. 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 Curling yeah. cooler than hockey? Yeah, curling is more intriguing. Bro, bro, like, y- I think you're bro. losing your Minnesotan card right here right now, man. No, I mean. No, you totally just did. I don't care. I don't like hockey that much, guys. Nonetheless, I, I wanted to either. give a shout-out to Beaverton, Oregon. What's up? If we ever go through there, buy me a sub or a hot dog or something. <laughs> we can go curling. Yeah, we we'll go, go Curling. curling. And we'll, 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 I'll let you read me we'll go Tolkien excerpts while Cur- I sleep on your couch. Go curling, protest Nike's use of slave labor. It'll, yep. be, it'll be great. But but they're getting paid. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Just because there's payment does not so make it. I, never I, said that. I know you guys don't know this, but y'all's biggest audience is Beaverton. Ours happens to be in... The great city of St. Paul, Minnesota. Oh, really? Hmm. That's weird. Yes. Why? Wow. I have no idea. It's almost like you have friends there. Uh, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> maybe. It's almost like your friends listen to your podcast. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> it's St. Paul and then Minneapolis, and then after that, it goes to like Canada. <laughs> Canada. Well, Canada. Canada. Really? Yeah, really we have we one, listener, in Canada? Or one right. listener in Japan as well that actually downloaded a podcast. I don't. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, oh, we had cool. some. What were some weird cool. ones we had? Uh, we had some French people. Some uh, some Swedish. Chileans weren't there a few Chileans? Yeah. There were some Swedish <laughs> people. Some su- Swedish some from what? Chileans. What was that? From Chile. Chilean Chile. Chilean. <laughs> yeah. from, oh, from yeah. Chile. From Chile. Oh. From Chile. From Chile. Sorry, Unfortunately, our highest our highest listened to city isn't our highest listened to city isn't Beaverton anymore. Now it's New York. Oh. Yeah, we're real popular. Oh, yeah, that's right. I saw that. Actually. Followed hey. by New in Brooklyn, York. actually. Yeah. Brooklyn. Oh. Yeah. Strangely enough. Oh man. There's people out in New York listening. I've sorry, never th- sorry that the Nets suck, Brooklyn. Ooh. Sorry. Ouch. Ooh. Whoa, hang on there. Sorry, bro. Oh, that's right. You got to pick up your basketball team now. The um, football team's dog crap. The um, 
the uh, sentiments expressed by Mr. Cody Freitag <laughs> are not necessarily the views expressed by the Keep On Talking podcast. Just a little disclaimer. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say I really have much of an opinion okay, on so sports you're ball. If the Nets are playing the Timberwolves, you got nothing to say? I mean, I naturally want any team to fail playing the Timberwolves. Okay. That's Except all I'm saying. Exact Including, yeah. That's all sure. I'm saying. I said I'm sorry that your team sucks. Oh. That's all I'm saying. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I mean, keep listening to us, guys. <laughs> I'm not saying that your team sucks. Even if they I do. Am, I am, though. I'm that's sorry. That's not what we're saying. Cody Freitag is saying that. Come after him. I don't know, man. Group consensus. I don't know, man. Group consensus. Uh, we're all in the same place. Yeah, we're all Spurs fans. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I don't really watch basketball, so fine. I'm a Spurs fan. I'll jump on the bandwagon. So with the old games, are the Two Towers and the Return of the King made by EA, mm-hmm. are those like the biggest ones for everybody? Or are those the ones that... The, yeah. I mean, yeah, They, those they would be for me. I haven't yeah. adventured into many of the modern Tolkien games. Like, I haven't done Shadow of Mordor or Shadow of War yet, unfortunately, but I hear they're pretty good. Wait, you haven't even done no. Shadow no. I mean, I didn't fit it. Damn, I, I no. thought you had got in on that. It's really good, man. Dude, you should. Apparently, War in the North was supposed to be pretty good as well. Oh, yeah, you know, I played that one. I forgot. Yeah, I totally played War in the North. Um, I've never heard of that. War in the North is... I, ha- I have that game. Really? It's, but I've it's, never You know, it's not it. a bad game. It's yeah. like an action RPG, and it's... um, it's uh, so, so, the problem that I had with it is it glitched out. Did I ever tell you this, Trevor? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it glitched yeah, out on the before. last level. So the save point was right. So I had to guard a door until, um, you know, until something happened. And there were a bunch of fucking trolls coming in. You had to hold the door? Yeah, I had to hold the, <laughs> hold the door. Hold the door. I was, yeah, I was hold holding the door. I was holding the door. <laughs> and, um, yeah, and it was, it kept reloading right as the door fucking was, had health of like two. So it kept reloading right there. It only had one hit in it. I couldn't even get to the fucking door before it breached. So anyway, I stopped playing that game. I, it was the last level of the game, and I got pissed off and quit. But it's kind of cool. Um, You get to do Eagle Air Force in that game. You get to call down eagles. Like, you meet an eagle early on was in the game. Was it called Eagle Air Force? <laughs> I, that's what I called oh, okay. it. Okay, I was like, eagle wow. Air I really, Force. really hope it is. Call it a Air different Force. name. <laughs> No, it's like call eagle and you say some Dude. word in Elvish and it fo- fucking comes from the sky. I, I picked up that game in a humble bundle. Do you want to play That's it? That's why sometime? I have it. Yeah, I'd, I'd be down to play it, it again. Uh, just we'll just have to be wary of the goddamn safe points. <laughs> is it? Yeah, of course. Uh, is it <laughs> Widely known fact, like, Trevor. Okay. Obviously, yeah. <laughs> of course. Sorry, I mean I, I didn't know that. I'm sorry, that didn't mean to. I wasn't trying to offend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean, I mean to. F- I'm sorry. I apologize. I mean, yeah. No, yeah, of course, yeah, of course it is. I played it. Yeah, I played it with my friend Joe. Yeah, right. Yeah, I've got yeah, it. I just have cool. to install it. So. Does anybody have a fidget spinner for Joel? Does anybody yeah. have a fidget spinner? <laughs> uh, Joel work. just will not at stop work. playing with everything on the table. Oh, they know. They I'm can trying to drink Strengthen more, so I stop getting so fidgety. Maybe it'll just. Oh, yeah, there you do. go. Look at that. Look at that. It'll work out your mask. Trevor gave me like a, a stress. Just do, it, just do it below the mic, and then you're and then you're good. Finger it's, a, it's a finger trainer. All right. It's good to deal. Make your All right. Stronger. I feel so much. Just do it down here. Yeah. There you go. So much less stressed out now. Here we go. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, what else you got? What what what's another talking about? in the north. Okay. So um, what? Let's well let's talk about. You guys just did an episode about War in the North, didn't you? No, we War did the Shadow, the of Shadow of War. Shadow right, yeah, War. Yeah, I'm sorry about War in the War, North. Bro. God damn it. Sorry. No, yeah, Shadow of War, I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The new, yeah. The, new the newest one. The newest one. So um, you've played most of it, or a part I've of it. I've played half of it. Trevor's played all of it. Trevor's so played, Dom's played all of it like Dom's 90% played. of it. What actor was it 90%? Cody, what, what actor uh, are you on? Uh, three. Okay. Yeah. You're coming to three? the Three? Okay, yeah. Three is pretty much where all Three is pretty much where all you beat all the story content for the most part. I just part got there. Like I literally, the, Wars. the little like cutscene cut came on, and then like, I ha- yeah, I haven't and played then it then since. You Did you say the Shadow Wars? Shadow Wars. Shadow Wars. Yeah. Should we try to say it all together? So after after the third act, like that's like almost all of the story, and then the 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 fourth act is literally just ten different waves of uh, Sauron's CG. forces attacking your forts back-to-back sieging oh. you're defending you lose it you have to take it back and that it's just really long it just takes a really long time 
Um, and then at the end, you are graced with one last cutscene. It's kind of like the I will say to the oh, whole so game. I'm to cut you off, but, but I will say that like for <coughs> our listeners, though, because we talked about it, and we hyped the shit out of that game and still stand by it to this day. It's fucking amazing. It's a great game. It's gorgeous. Yeah. And I love it. I love that game. For all everybody to keep on Tolkien, like it is, if it, even if you're not a hardcore gamer, and you have an Xbox sitting there or PlayStation or any any console or any, if you got a computer, just get the game. And it, if you play once every two weeks, the game's worth it. It'll last you a year. Like it, it's it's just tons oh, yeah. of, it's tons oh, yeah. of fun and it's totally easily. worth the buy. Yeah. Well, it's nice and it's it's easily accessible to like I think. Uh, both our Tolkieners and our is that a correct term? Tolkieners, uh, Tolkienier. I prefer Tolkieners. Tolkienier, like I'm an engineer. <laughs> okay, I prefer okay. Tolkienier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. Continue. So I think I think it's relevant to both uh, both of our audiences because like the story takes place outside of any Tolkien. I, fi- I feel like. Part. Hey, so like, so like, um they fit yeah, it here's, in. Here's what I was gonna ask you guys. So like I've been getting a lot of uh, Tolkien questions lately, and I think it's because of this game that just came out. Do you guys have any questions for us, like based on like um, the I have the story at all? Yeah, the uh, biggest one for me is who the fuck is Shelob? Like okay, is so she yeah, a here's minor? here's the, here's the thing. Oh, dude, yeah, they she is. Awesome. What, what is she? Okay, so Listen, in the game they play off Shelob as if she's Maya. Yeah, that's what I get too. But a lot of the. Uh, they don't really know, right, Joel? They're, they're not really as sure. As far as we know, they don't explicitly say, although there is a lot of speculation that Shelob and all of the spawns of Ungoliant are some sort of Maiar. Because, yeah, because we don't know what Ungoliant really is right. uh, either. She, they're all described as spider-like yeah. creatures or demons, but they don't really say that they are just spiders. So, yeah, in this game, she takes uh, Shelob takes like a fair form. Oh, it was, yeah. It was my favorite one. My, uh, also, top like, two parts of the whole game. Yeah. yeah, was that I mean, short, that. too short quest? Uh, like her whole quest, and you know, to get her her missions down and done, mm-hmm. which is way too short. But it's my favorite story out of the whole yeah. game so far. It's it yeah, they definitely no, it is, drew a pretty character. So you see, Sheila is like a a fair elf form. Yeah, like a like a woman. She's, she's gorgeous. gorgeous. She's gorgeous. Like the same. She's very no. attractive. She's, she looks yeah. like she looks like man. That's yeah. kind of that's kind of like a cool man. take on it because yeah. they don't explicitly say that she. Yeah, they don't say whether or not. And there's also she's pretty hot. Yeah. Um, she's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For some CGI oh models, guys. Damn. Yeah, um. <laughs> God damn it! What was I gonna say now? Uh, she was hot, uh, obviously. Oh yeah, you she got, was hot. You got side blasted by that she, one. Yeah, she was. She was fucking hot. <laughs> um. Oh yeah, and there's also other Maiar in the game too. Um, like who? Uh, like who? One of them is uh, nobody I heard I'd heard of, but it was ca- they were called Karen or something like that. Yeah, oh she's yeah, Maya, Karen. Right? Karen. Because uh, I knew that because when we were playing the game, um, I figured because Calibrimbor says, "Put down your sword and bow," and I was like, "Oh, he knows this yeah, is a fucking Maya. He shows some respect, but." But Talion's like, like stupid. You do not and he's fight. Like, oh yeah. He's oh yeah. Well, he, he's well some men have I mean, respect for the Valar. They're called the Elendil. They're they're faithful. Well. Talion's Talion's definitely not. I mean, he's a Gondorian. He's a Gondorian. Yeah, Gondorians are To be are, fair, are at one point though, they worship Ilavatar and stuff. Dude, at, at one point in the game though, with the help of Cairn, you, uh, Talion, and Calibrimbor, all three that of you take on a Balrog, nice. and you, and you send it. You, you basically you drown. You drown it. But uh, I mean, that's how you take it out. You send it nice. back to the depths of Mordor. Well, that, nonetheless, wait. that was my favorite character in the whole game so far. I, mean, I haven't finished it, but. Even after what well, they told me, what happened with Shelob? Yeah, oh, okay. Shelob was, and I wish it. I wish she it was longer. Yeah, I wish the whole story was longer because it's the beginning of the game. Yeah, and no joke. Because when I played it, like right when I started the game, I got totally hooked on the story. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, it was a continuation from the first one, but it just made me want to like just keep watching. Like I just wanted to rush to the cutscenes just to watch it like a movie, and then it it got a little stale in the middle. I think. And then I f- I'm hoping it picks up at the end. I haven't seen it yet, but they say it's good. So the, the whole story of men the part kind of so- was it was that, that's a little that's the stale. one that was real yeah. stale. Like Sheila brought life to it. It started. You start the game with Sheila, but she doesn't even make it halfway through the game for storyline. Yeah, not even that she's done like within the first like twenty hours. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Can get it, it's you can way get too it short, man. Fast. It's unfortunate, but 
I re- I really like that they show the uh, the siege of uh, Minas Ithil. Oh and yeah, all of yeah. Minas Ithil. Yeah, yeah that's, that's really the cool. The main part, the main part of the Minas first part of the game. Yeah, and it, it's an inevitable downfall. What was like? What was really like? What was uh, it's Minas Ithil, right? Minas Ithil. Be careful yeah. not Ithel? to give away stuff past Act Three. I know. I know. I'm trying, but it was just like really cool. Like I'm like sitting here. I'm like wait. I'm pretty sure I know what city this is. Come and talk to you. Yeah, that's what I thought. And it kind of sucks. Yeah. I'm like, I know where the game's going. You know where? Yeah, you know it's about to get dark. So yeah. I have a question for the Tolkieners. Tolkieners, yeah. Um, would you say that the game is legitimate to in the Tolkien universe, or was it was it twisted a little bit? Was it wha- is it not true? Is it is some of it true? You know, it's like twisted. I mean, in the same way that like the movies are twisted a little bit, you know what I mean? Like they add things, but um, the story is like, I would describe it as like really, really good Tolkien fan fiction, like okay. high level shit. Like it's, yeah, yeah. It, would, it wouldn't fit seamlessly in with the canon. No. And I think one of the things that, uh, that I was going to talk about earlier was that the timelines are sh- a little screwed up. Cause I think that movie, that game takes place during um, the uh, Hobbit and the Lord of the Rings, right? Between yeah. It takes place between those two. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure that Minas Ithil had fallen uh, well before that, Rachel. Before the Hobbit? Yeah. Before I don't what? actually know, but I would have if it If it did, so. though, honestly, there's nothing in the game that directly links up to the story happening outside of it. So, so far True. we know, all the way up to the point where we took Minas Ithil, you know, to get to Minas Morgul, could have been all pre-Hobbit if it needed to be. And all the stuff afterwards. No, but I'm saying there might be like a couple centuries. That's fine. That's fine because if the, if you count that into the Shadow Wars, we don't know how long that went on. So oh. it, so if there, it is a game, right, so you still have, it jumps a lot. Yeah. It yeah. jumps. And uh, oh, and Talion okay. is immortal, while Calib- you know true. with Calibrimbor's help, so it could go on for so long. Okay. It, it it has to. You have to have flow to the structure. You know. They can't. They don't have. 10,000 pages to put it all out. You yeah, know, yeah. Have minimal time. But I would recommend to anybody that if you're not going to buy the game and if you're not a gamer, if you get on YouTube, the game is worth just, you can look up just the cutscenes and the story itself. And it would be fun to watch if you're a Tolkien fan just to get on YouTube yeah, and I look up the story um, and just watch the whole thing straight through. It's yeah. it, 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 it's it's great. I love it. Yeah, when uh, when you originally beat Shadow of Mordor, because I've played I've played Shadow of Mordor, I got too frustrated and I quit. <laughs> um, <laughs> but but uh, I remember when you had finished it the first time, you t- you took me into your room and you're like, "You want me to spoil the game for you?" And I was like, "Yeah, cool." And we just watched all the cutscenes, and I was like, "Oh." That totally makes sense. Okay, and, and that's cool. what I did before because I, I was like seventy percent done with Shadow of War because I bought it like three weeks before Shadow. I'm sorry, Shadow Mordor, mm-hmm. and then I bought it three weeks before Shadow of War came out, or like a month or so, and I didn't finish it. But I got you know that game was a little you know linear. It's just you know pretty basic. Once you played half of it, you got the gist of the game. But the only thing you play it for is the story. Am I am I correct in saying that? Uh, I think like the, for any game, you get of course you get new abilities and well, stuff. Sh- like that. Shadow of War definitely has a more uh, fleshed out story than Shadow of Mordor did. Like I didn't care about most of the stuff that was happening in Shadow of Mordor. Yeah, yeah that was one of the complaints I kind of yeah. Had it about wasn't it. a very long story. I mean, and I feel like it was somewhat predictable. I mean, e- even with you when you were first originally watching it, um, you called Calibrimbor for who he was before he even revealed it. Dude, you want to hear something? I called it from the trailer e. of that game. I was like, "Is that pictures? A, yeah, pictures of that." What? Of me calling it from the trailer? Yeah. No. It didn't happen then. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, it totally. <laughs> I swear, it didn't happen. But I, ca- I called it. Yeah, immediately. But, but he's kind of a douche. The, the shadow, sh- I don't know. I don't yeah. remember. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay you, oh, you want to know why? Douche. Because he's a fucking Feanorian, right, Joel? That's exactly why. Wait. He's from a line of assholes. Give me a yeah. two. Give me a two-minute explanation. <laughs> yeah, I need this explanation too. Okay, so uh, Feanor is one of the people that led the rebellion of the Noldor against the Valar. So, so this goes back not centuries, not generations, but ages. This yeah. goes back a very, this very, very long stage. time. And so him and his seven sons, uh, Majros Maglor, uh, Carinthir, Kelagorm, Kurufin, Amrod, and Amros. They all say uh, that five times fast. 
I'll try. No. <laughs> I was joking. I was joking. I was joking. <laughs> um, yeah. So they all. So none of them have sons except for uh, uh, Kurafin, who has Celebrimbor, and uh, Ke- so. So his Ke- Kurafin is such an asshole that Celebrimbor actually disowns him. Because <laughs> yeah, dis- he disowns his father and because he, he is a, a lot. He is that a jackass. A yeah. What kind of an asshole was this? Dude, he tried to rape Luthien. Oh. Tra- <laughs> yeah. oh. Well, he tried to do a number. I mean, there was the whole kinslaying shit. Oh tried yeah, yeah. To, tried to pull a number on him. Yeah, he he's done a lot of terrible stuff. Him and so him and Kelligorm, I think, are the worst two of the sons of Feanor. They're the biggest assholes. Yeah. So like at one point he, so in our uh, the episode we just released, uh, we talked about Baron and Luthien. And there's a part in there where uh, she he steals up Luthien on a horse and Baron strangles him, like <laughs> jumps on him and grabs him by the fucking throat and brings him down to the ground. <laughs> and he's about to strangle him out, and Luthien's all like, "No, don't kill him." But yeah, yeah. So anyway, well, even after that, yeah, she's like, "No, don't kill him." You know, this is why we're better than our enemies. He's like, yeah. all right. And so they. So he just strips them naked. They strip them naked the and, se- and send them on their way. And then one of them turns around and shoots a poison dart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You thought. That's what kind of you dicks they are. thought we were going to leave you here. Yeah. <laughs> that's what kind of dicks they are. Damn. Um, so, yeah, but Celebrimbor, I mean, he's a little cooler because he stayed in. Uh, he stayed in Argothron when his dad got kicked out for. Because uh, so they basically betrayed. They basically betrayed Finrod Felagund, the king of their of the city that they were staying in. Yep. They basically betrayed him to death in Sauron's dungeons. What an ass. Yeah, they're dicks, I'm telling you. And th- so he died doing the thing, trying to do the thing that they swore to do no matter what. And that was get the Silmarils back. And they swore to do that no matter what. Nobody can keep or hold a Silmaril um, from us, the sons of Feanor, because Feanor made them. So it's... Uh, Calibrimbar is he, is he as, as good as a fighter in the Tolkien universe as he was in the game because he was a bad. Oh yeah, he's, yeah, he did sieges on different forts in Mordor. He well, was I mean, p- pretty much all the elves are skilled in battle. Well, like, yeah, in one way or another. Even lore masters. I mean, like Elrond has fought uh, in wars. Well, he fought um, in the, the I wish War for the Ring. Yeah, he f- yeah he fought. Yeah, I uh, wish they had more. G- Gilgalad. He was Gilgalad's herald. Gilgalad died in the Last Alliance. Okay. Okay. Um, so would, okay. So Kelgrimbor okay. would be very good at fighting, most likely. Because right. I mean, Feanor, his father, who was also the greatest smith of all time, was also one of the most ferocious warriors of all time. So he's got both in his blood. These are some badass dudes that make our current state of men just look like pansies. Yeah. No, that's the thing about like the third el, the third age and stuff, the Lord of the Rings. Like, you think the elves are super cool then? Holy shit! Everything, be, everything's these. watered down in the third. Yeah, age. everything has gone to shit by then. Like, like they're already diluted. <laughs> yeah, they're already <laughs> diluted. Like, yeah, their their kingdoms are nowhere near as cool as they used to be. Go uh, back to when you've got elves that have seen fresh the light of the trees. Yeah, and they got hidden cities and fucking. There's some Feanorian artifacts still around. Yeah, the crazy smiths of Nargothrond are still doing shit. So, uh, we're we're about to talk about the episode, um, the Children of Hurin episode. Um, so keep in mind that when you say that, this, this is going to be at a different is time. 10, so we would, yeah. you would have already released that. The no, because we haven't recorded the Children of Hurin yet. Oh, okay, okay. My so bad. the one we're coming up with. So I was going to ask this, Joel. Do you think that Celebrimbor um, made Gorthang, reforged Gorthang, because he was the smith in Nargothrond? Remember. Is there any pictures of Gorthang? He was a smith, and he did reside in Nargothrond. It's definitely not explained or explicitly mentioned explicit. if he was the smith that did that. But I, I kind of think he probably did, and that's pretty I'm cool. I'm sure he would have had the ability to do that, whether or not he was the one that did it. I'm, that would be that would be really cool. That would be really cool. I was just thinking about that. Maybe that's the thing. Yeah. Any other questions about Celebrimbor? A lot of people have been asking me about Celebrimbor lately. No, I was just I don't I don't really know his uh Also he doesn't have the ability to like do the whole wraith possess someone's no, body. No, he's thing. just an elf. I, no. yeah, that's part of the fanfic stuff. But yeah, he's he's an elf. Well, I mean, <clears throat> I don't know, there could be a different reason behind it other than just he is who he is. I mean, he made the rings. The three elven rings. Right, yeah. so I mean, if he did the rings, could he... So you're saying his advances in smithing allowed him well, to... What I'm saying is the f- come like back that he the could dead? use his, uh, his, his Feya, right? His, well, he's not a Maiar, so he's not really allowed to do he that. He couldn't do that? 
No, uh, elves and and uh, men can't use their Feya to manipulate outside things like the Maiar can. The Maiar can change their physical form. I suppose. I mean, I guess maybe we just don't need an explanation. And I'm sure if we did, they could come up with one that would fit. Well I know. I'm, s- I'm not saying yeah. this. Oh, why? Are you getting offended? Hmm? I'm just saying it's kind of... Far-fetched. It's, it's a cool... Yeah, it's a little... It's far-fetched, but it's a cool way to explain that mechanic in the game. So I'm not disagreeing with you. So could somebody be possessed and uh, that possession keeps them alive? I mean, all kinds of wild shit happens in Tolkien, man. I don't, so, you know. So it's, reasonable. Yeah, it's reasonable. Yeah, it's reasonable. It's not out of the realm of weird shit. There's talking dogs. Yeah, there's talking dogs and shit. Sweet. A, a sword talks at one point. A sword talks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, a sword talks. A sword talks. What? I mean, there's guys, dragons. listen to the Children of Hurin episode we're doing. Oh, my God, you guys. I'm, I'm balls deep in Children of Hurin right now, guys, for this new episode. <laughs> I'm not sure how that rolls off the oh. top so quickly. <laughs> balls balls <laughs> deep in Children <laughs> of, of Hurin. Of Hurin. <laughs> <laughs> this is literature, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's a book. Uh, you just have to say it that way. Balls deep in Children of Hurin. <laughs> <laughs> I book. thought this was a family. Ep- I thought this was. This a is a family channel. podcast. Now, I didn't a, say there's an E for explicit content. Is there? Or is it E for everyone? It's E for everyone. Mm. Okay. E for extra. <laughs> e for extra. So, one thing I wanted to touch on is I think was really cool is the game Shadow of War actually named a couple of the ring wraiths. Well, yeah, they have some of the ring wraiths do have names. Yeah, they're right? all the, yeah. the old kings well, of men, the, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, well, yeah. I know they're kings of men, but when I read Lord of the, uh, the Lord of the Rings trilogy, that's all I've ever read of Tolkien. But none of the ring wraiths or Nazgul are never named. No, other than like they call the Witch King the Witch King of Angmar. Yeah, yeah. yeah Witch King. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there are names for the Lord of the, for the the Nazgul. Some of them, I don't know what any of them the are. Sealdoer, oh. apparently. Oh. No, that's <laughs> not true. Really? So that's, that's one thing that's so not true. So you're, you're talking about things that you're not supposed to be talking about right now. Not. Because you're going to spoil it for I'm Cody. not spoiling anything yet. Knowing the names of the ring wraiths is not going to spoil anything. Well, because that whole thing is bullshit. That, okay. Well, I mean, there you go. There's there's <laughs> one thing, like, you call out straight up bullshit <laughs> See, about Shadow of War's story. They definitely... Yeah. Why? Sil- is not they, a ring wraith. They definitely fabricated that then. Yeah, they, yeah, they yeah. definitely... I felt like that was kind of shoehorned in. Like, I didn't feel like yeah. Isildur belonged as a ring wraith. There's no way he could have been. Yeah. Wait, isn't he... Is he the one who took uh, the one ring? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he yeah. took it. Yeah, he's the one who took it and then, and then lost, lost it. it. Yeah. Yeah. He got killed and, and then lost somehow it. he becomes a ring wraith because of that. That that always felt it, wrong. It doesn't make sense. No. no. Yeah, and also you like take his ring that he had, which it never existed well, anyways. I'm assuming that they're saying that he had one of the original nine rings of power, right? Or somehow Cause, obtained Because he did it. not. Or somehow obtained it? Sure. But see, that's not the thing. Like, um, You can't really pass it on as, as well. Um, you know what I mean? No. Pass on your wraithism? Yeah, yeah you can't no, like... I mean the ring itself. <laughs> All these words. <laughs> What how do you mean? You n- how could he not just get a, one of the rings? I mean, if he found it or it was it was Aren't given to him. Well, no, because I mean, the rings. The Nazgul is not going to take off its ring. Yeah, the rings are kind of bound to the Nazgul. They take it's off the like ring. Part of the Nazgul like already Nazgul by the time the fr- the war the fucking the war for the ring happens. Yes. yes. Oh yeah. Oh, they've been Nazgul for a while. Okay. Long time. I know that one. Long time. Trevor doesn't know. It's they fine. could have potential. I don't know. I don't. I mean, you know me. I play that devil's advocate. I try to find reason where there shouldn't be. And, yeah. Uh, no, that trying was to pick, trying to pick holes in uh, Professor Tolkien's sure, work. Yeah. I, I mean, okay. What are the odds you could actually kill a, 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 a Nazgul though? Uh, no man can kill them. Remember? No, okay. No, no man, man could kill them. Eowyn kills one. Remember? Yeah. yeah. Shoves the sword right through its mask head. Its fucking its head. face. Yeah. Well, its face. it doesn't really have a face. It doesn't have a face, but if it did. That's where it would have been stabbed. We get a kill. You get a kill one in Shadow of War. Yeah. Like legit kill. Well, you one. you straight up fight them all the time. Yeah. yeah they have flaming fu- heads. I hate fighting them. They're so they're annoying. so easy. Just keep vision on them, and yeah, then they like annoying, then you just though. counter the whole time. Yeah. Yeah, you just counter them the whole time. They're the it is easiest annoying, thing to fight. I agree. I wish I didn't say they were tough. I said annoying. I wish that I could fight them again, just every for the the heck of it. But they are super annoying. I would have wished they were more like bosses. Like. Well, they were just with a. Dumb mechanic. 
Yeah, they should have been really like unblockable. Excellent fighters that were really hard to beat. Well, the f- one of the first times you Never fight them, you fight like six of them at once. Yep, yep. That's so easy. True. And you don't actually. They do the whole the, like Jackie Chan movie kind of thing, where one of them goes in, the other five just sit there and move around for a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Yo. And then they switch <laughs> <Yeah>. in. <laughs> like I was. Like we're really fighting this guy one by one. Yeah. yeah. You call why. that you call that Jackie Chan, but that 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 had J- a real like strong feel of a set the original Assassin's well, Creed. It was just like. Yeah. Yeah, well, There's a whole army, but they come at you one by that's one a to die. regular thing done in games, guys, just so you know. Well, in, well, movies, and in, movies. in movies. It right, started right. in right. movies. Well, I'm just saying, to make it not as hard, game uh, developers will put in... All right, so there's six dudes fighting you. Two of them are going to shoot. The other ones are just going to run around and find cover. And, like, they never all fight you at once. Because that would be... You just get wrecked. Like I mean, have you ever played Halo on Legendary? Oh, yeah. Because I've, everything shoots I've at beaten you all constantly. all the Halos on Legendary, <laughs> except for five. Yeah. I think they just take out all that script there. Like, only three people can shoot at you. They just delete all that if you see the enemy shoot. Okay, but that's not meant to be, like, easy or manageable. It's meant to be, kill everything as quick as you can. Like, yeah, yeah, I the, know. Le- from the base difficulty for games, they're trying to make it accessible to everybody. And so it doesn't fit our hardcore gaming lifestyle, you know. Yeah. Hence uh, how much we play Destiny. So, also, touching on difficulty of the game... At times, Shadow of War is really fucking easy. And at it's other times... It's not as easy as Destiny, but it is easy, yeah. Well, we'll just hold those thoughts for later, man. On the I will... I'm go- see, I know, I know where you're going with this. You're going to say it does have its hard moments. Yeah, it does have its fucking hard I moments. I don't think that the normal difficulty has its hard moments. I, I think that if you're... Okay, but... If you, you, if you, if take you use the Nemesis system the way it's supposed to be used, and you can exploit their weaknesses, yeah. everything yeah. is easy. Oh. But well, for the yeah. non-experienced person, it could be a pretty oh. strenuous task oh, sure. to set up an army and okay. to siege things. It could be... You guys said that Shadow of Mordor was easy, and I think it's one of the most frustrating Shadow of Mordor games. was stupid. It was, yeah. See, it was no, stupid, no, no. Easy. stupid easy. If you die a lot, it gets real hard. <sighs> yes, but you also level up. So no, but I And if it's that bad, you start over after you've learned I, what not you know, to do. I was, yeah, I should have started over. Maybe one day I will. You know, just just get Shadow of War. Don't go to Mordor. Really? Yeah. Just get just Shadow of War. It. It, it can be. It. Don't worry though. There's times that it can be like an ass. Like the game just decides to be an asshole to you. Like you hunt down one orc, and then suddenly its blood brother is coming for revenge for some fucking. And then reason. you get ambushed by <laughs> and two and other dudes. Am- and then you I get ambushed by two other dudes, and suddenly you're fighting like six captains, three of which can't be stunned, three of which can't be executed. And the other two are enraged by everything. And one runs away. <laughs> yeah, and the one runs and then away. You scramble like to go dominate him. I need backup, man. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Dude, what I think was is pretty cool about the Shadow of Wardor of Mordor games. Is you did Wardor. Shadow of Wardor. Shadow, Wardor. Shadow of Wardor. That's exactly Wardor. what we started calling Shadow it in our last Wardor. episode because Dom <laughs> could kept saying Shadow of Mordor. <laughs> Shadow of Wardor. Um. Anyway, I think I think that the uh, the kind of glimpse we get into or orc culture. Is is kind of cool, like uh, oh, dude, it's like super how they just fucking they just assholes. yeah they are assholes and they just fight each other all the time, and they fucking can um, best come back. characters in the game though I yeah think. dude I love how the, the, the common other cool thing is that they have different tribes that they belong yeah. to that dictate in like, the new how game, they act yeah. and some of their abilities and they're even mm-hmm. bringing out two more in DLC with some oh, new really? areas yeah. DLC apparently the common dialect and aspect and and uh, common dialect. An accent in Mordor is the uh, Cockney. The Cockney British accent. Yeah. Yep. Every right? fucking. <clears throat> not not orc all and of them. You guys remember watching Silicon Valley? Yeah, yeah the Kumail, Pakistani Kumail guy. Yeah, does he does, one of the dude. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, it's yeah. so good. I'm so, I saw I'm it. Somebody s- showed me the video of it. It's super funny. Yeah. I'm so sad I killed that. Like, I encountered him within, like, before I got even got the ring before for you dominating could dominate, people. Yeah. So I'm like, I really don't want to kill you because I know I could add you to my army, but Dude, I, damn it. I, I do have him. He's like, uh, he's one of the javelin throwers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he like is. level 40 something in one of my armies. I don't remember, but he's just, oh my like, God. he came in Dude. He came in to save me because I was intentionally getting killed by captains. So, because if you kill one after they kill you three times, you get an achievement. Every oh, okay. time that I would uh, die the last time. Somebody from my team would come in and go, uh uh-uh, uh, not this time, and just murder, instant kill the dude who was killing me. It's like, oh, great. Now I have to start over again. And he was Thank one of you. them. He was one of them. 
<laughs> I was like, really, dude? I would kill you right now if I didn't love your voice so much right now. So, who? Uh, a couple other fun people did voices too. Do you know any? Um, uh, the so uh, Bruce, which uh, is a major character in the game, turn is cool than an asshole. And I currently. I mean, have he's kind of always an asshole, but he just he goes from he an kind of submits in the beginning. He's, I love to a his cool uh, asshole. His uh, bright lord, dark lord, it's all the same to me. <laughs> yeah, he's <laughs> he's like I just like ripping spines. Like <laughs> yeah, he's like I just like ripping spines out. <laughs> and see, now I have this guy. Now I have Bruce to uh, like he he uh, he's I don't want the fuck. I I don't want. Have you the done fo- like Cody? Have you done all the Bruce missions yet? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, okay. it's great. Yeah, once you if you shame him at the end, every time you meet up with him, he's just like, I don't want the fort. And just uh, like you're saying, dude, you know what level I got him to right now? Fifteen. Five. Get him to five. He keeps ambushing me, and I keep and you, you winning, keep and I keep him? shaming him. Dude, I was I was uh, reading some other people's adventures in Shadow of War, and they uh, found Bruce, killed him, cut off his head. Right? They're like, all right, I'm done with you. I don't want to. I don't want to listen to this again. Necromancer brings him back to life. There's a cage on his head, holding his head on his body, <laughs> <laughs> and he just he doesn't talk to you. He just like stares. All depressed. Just, uh, all the necromancer wants to do is. We're gonna make you suffer not only in shame but in death as well. Yeah, I refuse to kill Bruce. He's gonna be alive to regret his mistakes forever. Unless I actually make him a maniac, and that's actually my main goal. Is I want to make Bruce a maniac. Make him go nuts. Level up real quick. Yep. So uh, in Shadow War, like, so you can shame them and like de-level them a bunch, mm-hmm. but it has a uh, slight chance to make them an, a maniac. Yeah, they, they get so deranged. not only, oh, is that what I remember playing with you, watching you play, and somebody had become deranged. Yeah, and so yeah. they leveled up and they started going like all wacky and stuff. Dude, I love the crazy orcs. They are hilarious. <laughs> Crazy orcs. But yeah, hey, just proof how much we can say about the orcs is how much of the game oh, it no. really is awesome. The orcs right, yeah, they make really the fleshed game. out the orc culture. It's cool. It's cool on the world map if you if you zoom out because there's five different areas to uh, be able to explore. It gives you like little uh, uh, points of interest around the map. Um, one is uh, Minas, um, Minas Tirith. So you, uh, you can't go to it, but you can view and get some history for it. Same thing yeah, with yeah. Baradur. Yeah. Which is super cool that they do that. And uh, I looked at an actual, like, a, a an artist rendition of Mordor and kind of that whole area and compared it to the map. And I'd say it's pretty accurate. No, yeah, the map is pretty accurate. Like, yeah. they do a good job. I didn't realize you know that what? all those places were so close together, though. Yeah, because mm. most of Mordor is just empty. It's, it's, well, not it's empty, but there's, you know, it's there's barren things land. there. It's it's barren, there's a couple, yeah. uh, like, outposts here and there, but it's mm-hmm. all barren land. I just I didn't so know that Minas Tirith and Minas Morgul were so close. So yeah, you know what I did? Well, yeah, because one of them is the is the Tower of the Sun, and, and one the is the moon. Tower of the Moon. Yeah, yeah. And, right then the and then there's and then there's some other place kind of in between them, a little further. Askeliath. Yeah, Askeliath. Yeah. That's like the ancient capital. Mm-hmm. Of, of yeah, Condor. I mean, it, yeah, it tells you that it's fallen and everything, which is pretty cool. I mean. Yeah, Askeliath. They go uh, back and forth from like orcs holding the wh- the uh, eastern shore and like orcs not, and then like there's a really cool scene in um. The extended, uh, is it Two Towers or Return of the King? Where Boromir, the flashback, Joel, do you remember that? Boromir Ooh. and Faramir are talking, and they just reclaimed Osgiliath for like the first time in a while. And I believe it's the extended stuff. edition Two Towers, yeah. because that's a flashback that uh, Faramir has. Faramir right? has, yeah, yeah. 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 It's a cool, cool, cool little scene, but that's what they had just done. They had just retaken the eastern shore. I wish we get to play in that in Shadow War. I think that honestly, cool. I think because it's it's in like if you look at the world map, there are a couple of places that still look outlined because every area is kind of outlined. I think one of them has it in there. I think. Yeah, you think there's going to be some Osgiliath DLC? Maybe uh, if not Osgiliath, at least you know just a, a little bit uh, west of Minas Morgul. I know that that area looks like it's going to be part of the map. Athelion. Yeah. Yeah, that's called Athelion. It's like a forest. Which would be awesome, because, I mean, there's one small forest in the maps you play now, but it'd be yeah. cool. I mean, they could open up a whole other, like, part of the whole world itself. They, they could, they could, but I don't, I don't think they would. I think they'll keep it pretty centralized, because that's... You do? There's a whole lot of other stuff they'd have to try to make sense of if they went to other places, I think. Like your favorite Tolkien game or something like that, and why it's your favorite or something like that, whatever. All right. 
Uh, well, my favorite Tolkien game is um, is the Return of the King for EA for the PlayStation Two. Is it memories? Is it gameplay? Um, memories mostly. It's it, we were playing it the other day, and it's the gameplay is a little yeah. But um, you don't. It, it's because you have it like visualized from the past, where right. it was we, state it of the was art. So the yeah, yeah. Back then. it was so 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 good back then. And yeah, and I, I I had a ton of fun playing it with my friends back in the day, and I loved that one. It, the reason I said that one over the two towers is because that one's a lot easier than the two. T- the two towers is an incredibly difficult game, in my opinion, at least without the especially with the difficulty turned all the way up. Yeah. Go. Yep. It, yeah, it, it's, it's a difficult game, but um, the two towers you can do co-op. And uh, that's really cool. And they had to like, I like the way that they did. Um, so instead of a linear storyline, they there was a story tree, where you could like do like the path of Frodo and Sam. You could do the path of uh, what Gandalf was doing, and uh, and they kind of like meet at the end. And then yeah, the middle path is like Aragorn and everybody. I don't know. Anyway, that's my favorite. It's Danny, really cool. the game is so broken. I just have to tell you, when I was broken. watching you guys play it co-op, you die. Game over. Joel dies. We'll just wait for him to respawn. You could literally just send him in there the whole time to wreck stuff. You know, I'm just gonna stay back here safe. This is how we're gonna beat the level. That's actually how you beat the game <laughs> on higher difficulties. <laughs> yeah. You play with somebody and you send them in uh, the second player in to go and defeat everything, and then you go in at the very end. Pro strats, man. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> all right. So, uh, what about you, Don? What is your favorite of all time Tolkien video game? Uh, I'm gonna have to go with Shadow of War. Gotta go with Shadow Hell War. Yeah. The newest, Follow, in, newest one. Newest one. Followed up closely by uh, Middle uh, God, it Lord of the Rings Conquest. Basically, oh, okay. Lord, it, Lord of the Rings Conquest was like came out just around the time Star Wars, but the original 2005 classic Star Wars Battlefront Two. Here we go again. <laughs> Here we go again. <laughs> Why the fuck didn't you talk about this sooner, Dom? I never got a chance, like usual. Like I don't want to shoot my horn myself into a conversation. Well, just, uh, just take some time. Just tell us a little bit about that. Uh, it's so you got to play the. Uh, okay, so think Battlefront Two classic. Okay. Yeah, yeah. As Lord of the Rings, so you could play as soldiers like Rangers. This is um, for what platform? Uh, Xbox. I played on Xbox. So it's oh, like a deathmatch kind of thing, or no? Like think like conquest, taking the points, holding the points. Think Star Wars Battlefront Two. Right. So it was, it was like multiplayer online. Yes. Two teams doing yep. some oh, form cool. of. So just just takes what Star Wars Battlefront Two was yeah. and skin it with Lord of the Rings. Nice. Like you got to What were the uh, the tree the um ants the ants you get to like play as an ant at times That's they're like awesome. vehicles nice. and you fuck shit up and <laughs> <laughs> though they're like oh, they take the place of vehicles Those yeah really they cool. they're one of the things that take place what system was this on I played on Xbox one no Xbox original Ooh. the original Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Xbox like the, the Xbox. Xbox the one with the coolest still to this day intro or intro. Sh- startup and screen yeah huge and where, like, controller c- breaks open yeah <laughs> yep. Oh, you mean, uh, God, what is that controller called? I forget what it's called. That's the best Xbox so controller big one? ever. It's got the black and white button? Yep. Uh, the Duke. Yes, the Duke. That's the what Duke. it's called. The Duke. That I thing. don't think I remember what it feels like. Uh, it was just oh, uncomfortable. It's huge. I, I got one of the smaller huge. ones. Does it, that would you say it feels huge buttons. in your hands? Yes. Was it even wireless? No. no dude. It, was it was wired. That was for, yeah, for Xbox. Still had memory cards. Wireless controllers started oh, yeah. in the days of PS3. PS3, Xbox right? Correct. Yeah. Although yeah. PS2 had a wireless adapter. Yeah, I had one back in the day. I had the wireless adapter. PS2 had a wireless well, adapter. Well, yeah, yeah, you could get like uh, you could get off-brand controllers to do that stuff. Yeah. yeah. But they were, yeah. they were garbage. Oh, yeah, the, latency, the latency was so and, uh, bad. Yeah, you mine, wouldn't get rumble. You wouldn't get any rumble. Mine was by power. somebody called Mad Cats. Mad oh, Cats. Oh, guys, Mad Cats. Cats went out of business. You know that? I know. They, they just yeah. recently went Bunk out of business. Mad Cats. <laughs> they filed for bankruptcy or something. Like, well, that's well, it that's sucks sad. for them, but their time has come and gone a long time that's ago. That's true. We've got everyone else their making time, peripherals and stuff. Dude, Razer's coming out with an Xbox Elite controller. Yeah. Ooh. Looks pretty cool. Well, they're doing everything it's else. Got, Have you seen their laptops? Yeah. Have you seen their gaming laptops? Yeah. They're like paper thin, dude, and they're running it like 4K games. It's ridiculous. Sounds like a really hot, expensive heat. It's like bad. it's like oh, it doesn't even get hot, dude. What? Yeah, yeah. I I actually right, went to Best I'm, Buy. I went to Best Buy and ran the uh, the hev- uh, Heaven benchmark on it, and just let that shit run. It didn't get hot at all. Wow, I'm impressed. And did a 4K test on it, or the guy did a 4K test on it. He was demonstrating it and didn't even get hot. Ooh. It's all SSD. 
Yeah, I'll do it. Yeah. It was Quaza Press. I'm not going to pay two grand for it, though. Fuck that. Oh, fuck that. Yeah, you're right. But Shadow of War down, that's your favorite? Favorite, like I no. said. What about you, Trevor? I'm glad you shared that game with us because I had never heard of it before. I had Conquest. never heard of that now, and now oh, I kind of want to play it. I wonder if it's on the Xbox Store. Have you know, though? Uh, doubtably. Oh, it wasn't a, a well one, received man. game. Oh, it's really? one of my favorite, but it was not a well received game. He, lo- he loves trashy games. <laughs> 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 anyway. And you hate good games, so. Oh, <laughs> Cody hates good games. What, what, do you about, what about you, Trevor? He's looking something up. You know. It did remind me that we should have pushed record at the exact same time. Would have made my my life a lot easier. Well, you just got to find his start. So we just got to end it at the exact same so time. So I got something for you guys. Probably uh, You may have seen it on Steam, but there's another Lord of the Rings game we haven't talked about. Um, not my favorite, but I just want to mention it. Guardians of Middle Earth. I've never heard of it's that. It's a MOBA. What does that really? mean? Really? MOBA is Whoa. a massive online, massively online Whoa. battle arena. League of Legends. League of Legends. Oh, okay. I am very... When did this game come out? It's been out for over a year, for sure. Uh, One year? Over a year. Oh, wow. I am thoroughly interested. Wait, wait, wait. Is it garbage? Because there's no way that I don't know. I got it in a humble bundle, so probably. (laughs) But... It's got to be garbage if nobody's oh. talking. But uh, I'm just saying, there is one out there. You can play uh, a bunch of different characters. But hmm. my favorite, it's it's a it's a tie between, uh, obviously, Shadow of War, because I went hard on that. I loved it. And honestly, Lego Lord of the Rings. Hell that yeah. game, it was just it was mm-hmm. a, a great couch game. And you guys know that I'm all about couch games. So it was, it was yeah. a ton of fun just being able to we play We had a shitload of fun playing that yeah, game. Yeah, it was awesome. The fun factor. The fun factor. The fun factor. It was a lot of fun. And yeah. that, that Especially if you're, your pals like Lord right. of the Rings and shit. That, yeah. That, yeah. That kind of stuff creates memories. And memories. memories. I was yeah. going to say. Yeah. That's memory. It's a memorial game. That's, yeah. I mean, Shadow of War, great single player. Go through it. Like, cinematic adventure. Fantastic. But the Lego Lord of the Rings games. Just too just, much fun. Just I need to play it, man. I need to play them. Steam link it. Let's all, yeah. We could we'll steam, steam link, link it. it. We could go four player. It's great. <coughs> all right. I think it's four player. Cool. Was it only two? It, it may was only be. Th- it's three, right? I thought it was four players, but maybe I'm yeah, crazy. Well, we can check another time. What about what about you, Joel? What's your uh, favorite loader game? Loader. Loader game. Yeah. My favorite loader game would probably have to be, the Return of the King. Just sentimental value. I remember it was like the first game. That uh, I could like go over to my friend's house, we could co-op play through, and we were both nerding out about the Lord of the Rings movies at the time, so it was super great. Okay, I can definitely see why you liked it. the uh, The camera work would need some some improvement for me to like that game. It's that game is dated. Yeah, well, yeah, obviously, but but it, it, it looks it was great at the fun. time. I still think no. Two Towers was my favorite out of that. that Honestly. So. Honestly, the funniest thing was watching Joel and Danny play that game earlier. And Joel just leveling up all his shit, and Danny's being like, "Why don't I got no?" Oh my god, I was so (laughs) mad, (laughs) Cody. So Joel, I'm not gonna say he was bad at the game, but Mm. he definitely wasn't as good as I was at the game. Oh, I see. Did you get trolled? Mm. No, he totally got trolled. I was was racking up a shitload of experience points, right? (laughs) And I didn't realize that. We spend those points together. Sh- they're shared experience. They're shared experience <laughs> points. So this motherfucker's over here leveling up every fucking move he has, and I keep on, I'm like, how the fuck do I not have experience? I, I only have enough to upgrade one. <laughs> he's and then, so maxed out yeah, already. He's maxed out on everything. I was like, are you spending my experience points? And the worst part was is because there's like, you could get minus like the very character specific like trait. Like, he was buying traits just for his character. Yeah, and just for his character. Yeah, you get him cheaper the buying them <laughs> in bulk. Yeah. yeah. Just to be an ass. Wow. Trolled. So I'm never playing that game with Joel again. <laughs> That's all right. I'll play. I'll play. I'd like to play Two Towers again. I probably wouldn't like it as much at I all. I have it somewhere. I'll try to find it, man. All right. I'll be down to play it. So yours is Return of the King, Joel? Mine's going to be Return of the King. Final answer. But is it... Is it, but so, but is it the gameplay? Is it the fact, the history behind it? Like I said, it's the, it's the sentimental value. Nostalgia. It's, the, it's a nostalgia. All right. All right. Do you think you will pick up the new ones? No, I probably will. Good. For, do you have a PS4? Yeah. yeah. It does. Oh. PS4. Cool. Right now my PS4 runs better than my PC, so it'll probably be PS4 for the uh, foreseeable future. Do it. It'd totally be totally legit You can get there. Shadow Mordor for dirt cheap, too, probably. 
I oh got yeah, it for two dollars. I'm sure I can get him as some kind of bundle or something at some point. Yeah, I got I got when I got Shadow of uh, Mordor. Shadow of Wardor. Shadow of Wardor. Wardor. Shadow of Wardor. Yeah, I got it for two bucks. Hodor. I think mine would have to be Shadow of War also, just because it's beautiful. It's fun to play. The environment's great. Yeah, it's Nemesis just, is good. Yeah. But it's just a great game. Two Towers is a close second, but I just don't. The only reason I think Shadow of War wins is because I could. It's newer, I think, and I'm just kind of like just now playing it. We're so. all enamored yeah. by it right now. How about we yeah. we ask you in 40 years? <laughs> how many? <laughs> okay, how many Which Lord one? of the, how many Tolkien Honestly, games are probably come out in 40 years? Oh, fun fact! Do you know what uh, one of the very first Tolkien video games was? No. A tabletop Shadows game. of Mordor, and it came out in 1984. And it was an old like DOS huh. game, Super 8-bit. Really? What? Yeah. Shadows of Mordor. Yeah, Shadows of Mordor. So the new one, the new game series is always called Middle Earth, Shadow, Shadow of yeah. Mordor, Blank. and then Middle Earth, Shadow of War. This game was just called Shadows of Mordor, and it was one of the ones where it was literally like a command screen, and you type in like an E for your character to go to the northeast, and it just comes up with code that says, oh, Proto goes to the northeast. Oh, it's like a pathing simulator, like old school. Yeah. Yeah. Once in a while, it'll pull up like a really 8-bit picture to show you that you're at like a waterfall or something. It was really cool. It was super So you can't even in Google type in Shadows of Mordor without coming up for Middle of Earth, Shadow of Mordor. Right. Just search uh, Shadows of Mordor <laughs> 1984, and it should come up with something. It was actually part of a two-parter. Oh, nice. What was the second one called? The second one was more successful, and it was called... Uh, I don't quite remember. But there was also a Hobbit game prior to those as well. That was supposed to be pretty good. Well, and prior to both of them? Yes. I'm surprised you guys don't like look like seek out these... Uh, I mean, do you collect Tolkien memorabilia? Uh, I yeah, Slowly? I do books and movies, yeah. Okay, any <laughs> kind of like actual vintage stuff? Uh, s- excuse me, sir. You're sitting at the table of a man who has the first edition of both the Silmarillion and the Unfinished Tales. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. I collect. <laughs> I mean, to some people, they would say that's a small collection. But yeah, I mean, let me guess. You, uh, <laughs> you found it at half price books. Yeah, man. <laughs> uh, so I found three Tolkien first editions at half price books. Now, one of which Joel I, I gave to Joel. The second one which I found. The third, uh, and then yeah, the third one I found uh, at a different half price books. But that's ridiculous. Yeah, people don't know what the fuck they have. And the second time I got the first edition, I checked out and I was like, so it was like eight ninety nine or something like that. And I, I, I told the lady at the register, I opened it up, and I was like, check this out. This is a first edition. And she was like, oh, really? And I was like, yeah. It's, uh, and it was, she was like, you found it over there? up on the, And I was like, yep, just up on the shelf. And I was like, all right, see you later. I'll be going now. Because mm-hmm. I just fucking took this first edition off their hands for eight ninety nine. Should have been in the What case. would be the value of that? That that one is probably like, um, like three... To five hundred, maybe. Okay. Good day. Wait, first it's, it's just like like a like a baseball card. It's, it's done by grade scales. Yeah. Well, and it also has uh, mine has the intact map in the back. So back in the day, the first editions had these fold out fucking maps Which that is were legit. As fuck. Yeah, legit as fucking. They were like two tone. So there was like a red and black ink, right? Oh, nice. Yeah, they were super cool. I'll sh- I'll, I'll I'll show you my first edition sometime. Can I lick it? I'm sorry. Go you ahead. You, you don't touch it. Sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. You, you don't touch uh, it. Bad. But yeah, they're really cool. So like, and they're actually attached to the book. Uh-huh. So if they're still attached, they're worth a lot more money. Now, did they put that beautiful half price book sticker on the on the front cover? Yeah, I got it off though. Oh. <laughs> Was there any kind of? I won't. Do, I won't downgrade your book. No. I want to see it. I'm yeah, like I'll show you. So the uh, the unfinished tales is rough. The mm-hmm. dust cover is really ripped up. So what would be? But is there? It, did Tolkien have any kind of like personal possessions that people seek? Like, oh man, I'm sure. Oh, wh- what about uh, uh manuscripts? Oh, manuscripts. Those are, um, as far as I'm aware, all uh, in Christopher Tolkien's vault. Vault. Yeah. And there are he's still supposedly he, many of them. Yeah, because he's still writing books based on them. Like, The Children Jesus. of Hurin came out in 2008. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, yeah. Uh, I remember that. But are they going to continue? Like, uh, is his. I, mean, Chris I know he's old as shit. As he lives. He's pretty old. I know he's old as shit, but is his. 
gener- in ne- the next gen going to take over. Hopefully. They, they never said. In, in the last book that he put out, the most recent one was Baron and Luthien, which just came out this past spring. And he did a preface where he talked about the fact that he's, you know, pretty old and he's been doing this for his dad his whole life. Basically just taking his dad's work and editing it together <laughs> and, like, <laughs> sorting it out. And that's like... I wonder if he ever wrote anything himself. And he's in his 90s now. That's so got to feel kind of shitty, He said guys. he's pretty sure this is going to be one of the last times that he does this and, and publishes, like, a book based on his dad's work. Which is why he saved the last one to be Baron and Luthien. Because it yeah. was, like, one of his, as a kid... One of his oldest memories of his dad's stories. Yeah, yeah. Because, yeah, it was one of the older I know where you're going with stories. that thought, Cody. I mean, like, it, I this dude's lifelong, lifelong work is based off of what his dad did. Like, yeah, I mean, well, that's a legacy, yeah, though. That's I awesome. wouldn't say that that's yeah, necessarily Christopher issues, Tolkien's though. lifelong work. I don't know what else Christopher Tolkien has done with his yeah, life. I'm okay. sure maybe he's done a shitload of other stuff. I'm, it's very, I'm, I'm, only, I'm only seeing his life through the spectrum of his father's work. So. Got it. Yeah. I know maybe he's an accomplished author and read a, a lot of stuff, but but there's, know. but there's nothing out there that says, all right, I've already, you know, we've discussed it. My son or daughter, I don't know what his kids are, are gonna take over, and start going through some of these old manuscripts and try and piece together the universe more than I have. There is nowhere explicitly said that, although, in the recent book that he put out, like I said, he has a preface where he kind of explains all of the stuff he's about to show you, like, oh, these are a bunch of pieces of stories that I put together. But anyway, in this uh, most recent preface, he gave credit and thanks to one of his sons, who he said helped him out immensely in this book and putting it together. So... Maybe it's a maybe it's a maybe precursor the or torch something is, like Maybe the torch still goes on. Maybe. And I think it all depends on what happens to those manuscripts when Christopher dies. Right. Because I don't know who too. owns them. It sounds as you though know. Christopher's son, whoever was that helped him, has the same respect for his, for his That's good, grandfather's he could work as Christopher easily did. whore it out to anybody. Right. So, cro- fingers crossed, it sounds like yeah, it's all in good hands. So, w- I like to know the numbers behind and the value. W- hypothetically, what would an original... Do, are they handwritten or typed out? I would imagine typed out. Uh, a lot of them are handwritten. Okay, so what would a, what would a, the very first original handwritten by Mr. Tolkien himself, wh- be, what would be, be the fu- value it, of that manuscript? It would be fucking priceless, man. It would be millions. There's, it would be worth millions of dollars. Like, I'm pretty sure it would be worth millions. Like, is there pictures out there? I want to see pictures. I don't know, man. If there are pictures of these, to all you Tolkien ears. Post them to the Keep On Tolkien Twitter page, and I will I will find them. Tag Gamer Radio on there, and I'll, I'll check them out because I got to see this stuff. I got to see it. Yeah, I don't I don't know, man. I can check it out for you. I'll I'll, I'll throw it up at uh, at you on Twitter if I find something. Yeah, yeah. Is it is there like is there a museum? Uh, I feel like there should be. There there very well should be. There should I, be. Where's he from? He's from. Uh, well, he was born in South Africa, but he's from uh, England. England. That's like where he resided and did all of his work. Yeah. And is it like the Houdini Mansion or something? Is it like the Tolkien Palace? The or Tolkien something? Palace? I don't know. Uh, that'd be f- fucking sweet. I don't know how uh, realistically. How, I mean, I guess he was super rich when he died. I think it'd be cool to like just like the desk that he wrote at. Like, oh my god, how yeah. badass would that be to Dude, go see uh, that? Like people go to like Tolkien um, like tours. Like they go to like the bars he used to hang out at and shit. <laughs> he drank this beer. <laughs> he drank this beer <laughs> at this class. <laughs> yeah, I really hope Tolkien was a Guinness guy. I don't think he was. I really hope he was. He was an Englishman. He seen, I feel like he drank scotch. Scotch whiskeys. Yeah, I, just, I don't know. I, I, think, like I think he liked Cigars ale. and scotch. Really? Because, well, if you, if you look at it as, like, the Hobbits are most similar to, to like, you know, him, which a lot of people say that they are, uh, they like ale. Yeah, I okay. can respect yeah. that. Right. Party but they animals. also they also drink beer and wine too. Like they so, they're drink they're party day. animals. Yeah, they like to find an f- excuse to party about everything. Exactly, that's exactly what hobbits do, dude. Yeah, honestly, like they I thought about hard. it when somebody asked me, like, if you could be any race in the in the Tolkien universe, my first response was an elf because they're just total badasses at everything. Yeah. And I was like, well, let me think about quality of life here. Do I want to be like stuck up the entire time and? Super straight, clean cut the entire time, <laughs> perfect at everything. I don't or do I want to just kick back and get married and have babies and drink fucking L forever and party all the time and have hundreds of birthdays for everybody, you know? You would be a hobbit, my friend. I know, right? That's what I was yeah. thinking. Hobbits sound like they got the good life. 
So I did try to do a quick fact check, jumping back to when you were talking about manuscripts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know exactly manuscript prices, but the most expensive known price for a copy, one of the original copies of The Hobbit. Well, original as in what? Um, like first prints, or were they were they literally handwritten? Handwritten. He hand wrote, from what I can tell, multiple editions of The Hobbit. Danny, do you have any kind of facts on this? I do not. I'm sorry. Um, this I is, would assume this is kind of a big deal. Yeah, I would assume that uh, he's talking about like a first printing, first edition. Whoever is listening, well, they're saying fucking, copies. They're, they're either flipping shit right this now. This article that I, this article that I'm reading is talking about copies of The Hobbit that were sold in auction. The most expensive copy was sold for one hundred and twenty thousand eight hundred dollars. Jesus, for some paper, yeah, with mm-hmm. some words on it. And from well, what I can tell through the pictures that I'm looking Timmy at here, God. it looks like it's uh, it looks like it's written, not typed. That's insane, dude. If he was writing that shit, that's crazy. I would pay. I would think it'd be worth dollars. a lot more than that for a handwritten of anything, even like his autograph, like an authentic autograph of Tolkien. But anyways, I think we had a fun episode. Yeah, we had fun. Oh, Definitely wonderful. Had fun. Good time. Good time. This is hopefully it's not too much of a nightmare for you to edit there. Oh, it's gonna be, but it's okay. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. But yeah, we had a lot of fun. It was fun to have uh, the g- the gamer radio and Tolkien ear keep on Tolkien nights and yeah, yeah, all all come together and hang out and we hang out all the time. But it's just now we're recording it. Now we're recording it. Yeah. This is originally how the dream started. Yeah, yeah. With this in mind. So for those who don't know, we actually record out of, record out of the same facilities, and generally we record on the same day. And one group records before the other group, and <laughs> and we just hang out in the meantime. Just knock yeah, out, just knock yeah. out four <laughs> fucking episodes. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a grind, and it, it's been fun uh, every minute. S- some parts are struggle, and some parts are easy peasy. But but it, it's it, great. This yeah. has been a great project for me. I'm having a great time, and uh, it's helping with my obsession. It's making it a little worse, but it's fine. It's giving you a creative a outlet. Worse. It's a little worse. I find myself thinking about Tolkien way too much. Yeah, well, <laughs> and, and it makes you fact check yourself too, because once you say it, yeah, it's now out there. now there might be some pissed off nerd, yeah, you know, These emailing me. These motherfuckers, yeah, they don't know shit about Tolkien. They don't know anything about Tolkien. I <laughs> he, there's somebody out there. He's there's somebody definitely out there's furious. Right he's now. definitely not hopefully, from Brooklyn or hopefully from it's Beaverton. Not no, Bro- no. Brooklyn and Beaverton love us. Yeah. <laughs> It's got to be all bees, man. All bees. You know, there's a town in Texas called Beeville. 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 We're How probably popular there. Beeville. Do it in your voice, Trevor. Beeville. There you go. Jesus Christ. Beeville. There, <laughs> there we go. Yeah, a fucking Lilo and Stitch in the house. <laughs> oh God. Oh Jesus. Don't get me started. Uh, yeah, this has been our crossover episode. What number episode is this, Joel? I don't know what this is going to be. Ten. Number ten. This is number ten. This is episode ten of Keep On Tolkien. Thanks so much for listening. Thanks so much for the guys from Gamer Radio. This has been so much fun. So the much most fun. of funs. We've got, uh, just once again, we've got Trevor Dunlap, Dominic Rowland, and Cody Frytalk. That's us. And your regular hosts, Danny, Danny J. <laughs> and Joel <laughs> and Why are we saying it together? <laughs> By the way, guys, thanks for having us. Yeah. Thanks, thanks for having us on. We had a lot of fun. Beers were drank. Laughs were had. Laughs Grog were had. was drank. Grog was drank. Grog is apparently a poisonous to man. So. Correct. Uh, my bad. And it wow. also makes a really great explosive. Well, they, okay, orcs use reason. grog for, it's an explosive, it's their food, and it's a medicinal. Yeah, yeah no, orcs item. have really good medicine. Did you know that? That's a, that's a fun fact. Fun fact, orcs are really good at medicine. I did not know that. That would explain that a, a lot. Fun fact. They're very they're good at being efficient with what they've got. Yeah, like so this is why they keep coming back from the dead, <laughs> right? <laughs> there's, <laughs> a lot. there's a part in the two towers where um Mary and Pippin are being like uh marched forcefully by the orcs and uh I think it's Mary's not having a good time and uh they force feed him some of this fucking orc they call it orc medicine and it, it perks him right up. It tastes like shit and it burns. And then also he has a, a, a scar on his head from where uh, he had a cut, and they smeared some goop on it, 
and it healed right away, but, but it, it was lo- scarred. It looked terrible. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is that why orcs are so? Fucking That's why ugly? orcs are so fucking ugly. Because they yeah. fight all the time. Because they fight all the time, and then their medicine ma- makes their their scars terrible. They just take like little acid baths. But it yeah. heals <laughs> without infection, which I think is the most important thing. Yeah. Well, he lived, you know. Yeah. Oh yeah, you know. Yeah. Well, it sure has been fun, guys. Yeah, yeah. Keep on talking, guys. Keep on talking. Keep on talking. I think keep you keep on talking. Can we all keep on, keep on, keep it on token? Say it down. Keep on token. Yeah.